At the U.S. Air Force Academy graduation, it was a scary moment. That was President Biden. At first, it was not clear why he fell. As Secret Service agents helped him to his feet, the president pointed at something he had apparently tripped over. And moments later, White House Communications Director Ben LeBolt tweeted, He's fine. There was a sandbag on stage while he was shaking hands. As part of the president's attendance, Mr. Biden posed with cadets graduating with honors and offered personal congratulations. And then he was guided to walk over there. You can see the worry on the faces of the VIPs. Here's the camera angle that stayed with the president. The wide view showed the president was not hurt and walked with no problems to his seat for the graduation's conclusion. Wing, 10 shot. Mr. President, thank you for joining us today. Ladies and gentlemen, the president will be departing immediately following the Air Force and Space Force songs and dismissal of the class of 2023. So the president was fine, but the optics, of course, are potentially problematic because the nation has gotten another reminder that President Biden now seems a bit clumsy. And when older people become unsteady on their feet or fall, it can be a sign of age. At 80 years old, Joe Biden is the oldest sitting president in U.S. history, and he would be 86 at the end of his second term, should he win again in 2024. Former President Trump, who was 76 years old, was in the middle of an event in Iowa when he was told about Biden's fall, and Mr. Trump reacted with empathy. He's at the Air Force Academy. He actually fell down. Well, I hope he wasn't hurt. I hope he wasn't hurt. But it's the whole thing is look, the whole thing is crazy. You got to be careful about that. You got to be careful about that because you don't you don't want that. Even if you have to tiptoe down a ramp, you got to. That is a self-deprecating reference to Mr. Trump's own careful walk down a ramp at West Point in 2020, which opened up Mr. Trump to questions about his age. A few weeks ago, when Joe Biden was asked about the age issue after announcing he was running again, Mr. Biden said it will be up to voters to judge whether or not I have it or I don't have it. The president also said he respects voters taking a hard look at it and that he had taken a hard look at it. On this day, Mr. Biden did not take reporters' questions as he boarded Air Force One following the commencement ceremony. There will no doubt be more questions about the president's age and fitness in the weeks and months ahead. Fair or not, falling over a sandbag or anything else takes on a whole new meaning and political symbolism when you are the president of the United States. By the way, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who is challenging Donald Trump for the Republican presidential nomination, has his own problems. And those problems have to do with technology and a lack of charisma. So we'll do it. Okay. How are you doing? What's your name? I'm Tim Anthony. Okay. How are you? I'm wonderful. Check out that story at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.